Welcome back to Toy Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we're going to do more awesome levels designed by you guys. And the first one we're going to do today is this one here called Crow. Please play, I'm a big fan. When playing, only use God powers when you can make an extremely funny joke or when you just can't beat the level. The first level is called Alu. I'm going to burn your ship. Let's take a look at the map and see what's going on. Up front, we have these watches. A bunch of watches followed by some hoplites and behind the hoplites we have musketeers pretty interesting and hold on on the right we have valkyries and we have yarls coming in from the rear a bit of reinforcements for blue and i think i saw yes i did what is the single hobbit doing here what are you doing oh your eyes are messed up you know what's about to happen to you how do we defeat this army we need something very powerful. And I'm, I'm trying to decide on how I want to do this because these watches are going to ruin the front line, especially because I'm stuck spawning on the boat. I have to spawn right here. How do I get to the watches with the watches completely destroying me? Maybe we need a couple of meat shields. Okay, let's go with the meat shield concept. Let me grab two ice giants. Oh, these ice giants are expensive. Let me grab one ice giant. Put the ice giant there. And behind the ice giant, we're going to start with reapers we're just going to provide a reaping 1500 points i'm gonna try and quickly kill this hobbit because i don't want the reapers going to attack the hobbit that'll ruin everything so i'm just gonna go a couple squires here we'll fight this hobbit and then why don't i put a few healers here maybe they'll help to keep things alive in fact i'll move the healers back here there we go just like that here we go please be the meat shield that i need you to be mr yep they're being healed they're being healed here on the watches all aiming for the ice giant and we weren't able to heal through the ice giant can the reapers get to these watches before they cause too much damage yes the reapers are doing the job they're getting those watches the reapers are completely reaping things and got ruined oh the musketeers guys these musketeers are gonna cause an issue I do not want to use god powers, but luckily the reapers were able to use their tentacles to get the musketeers, but the, oh, the black hole! No, he lost! I felt like the reaper concept is correct, but my god, I underestimate the power of the musketeers. Actually, I like this concept, but what I'm going to do is we're going to deal with the musketeers. Just going to deal with the musketeers. All right, and then we should have a very fascinating fight. Here we go, three, two, one. Musketeers get kablooied. The ice giant tries to be the meat shield. That doesn't work. And hopefully, oh, a bunch of reapers got wrecked. Oh my goodness, what has happened? A bunch of reapers just got ruined. Reapers moving in. Watches are still firing. All the reapers are pretty much dead. There's one reaper left. Get in there and get those watches. Oh, there's Valkyries coming in too. They're gonna make a nightmare. All the reapers are dead. Oh, it's not enough. Instead of blowing up the musketeers, we're going to blow up the watches. And now we're going to see if maybe this could change things. They have every single musketeer. All that range damage is still in effect. And there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Range shots shooting in. Reapers moving in. The meat shield being very meaty and very shieldy. Oh, the Valkyries coming in from the side. Here we go. But luckily, the Reapers were able to... Oh, no. No, the black holes. Oh, the Reapers are getting wrecked. The healers aren't really trying to keep the Reapers alive. The most trying to keep the Ice Giant alive, who is in there punching. There is one Reaper left. There's a Yarl coming in on the Reaper. Oh, no. I'm I don't want to lose. I want to win. Come on, Mr. Reaper. Get it done. It's just the Reaper, an Ice Giant, some Yarls. There's one little squire just kind of chilling right here. Come on, Mr. Reaper. Come on, Mr. Reaper. You can do this. I don't want to lose again. No, the ice giant's down. Okay, I have to make sure he wins. I can't afford doing this another time. So here we go. Shuriken senseis. Sensei Shuriken, to be honest. Fire. Hit that guy. Who's left alive? Oh, there's another Jarl. Sensei Shurikens. Get wrecked. Another Jarl. Sensei Shurikens. Oh, there's a Jarl under here. Hey, Mr. Jarl Sensei Shurikens. Um, your leg is twitching. <laughs> Where are you going, Reaper? Oh, there's a Jarl over here. Sensei Shurikens! And we did it. Okay, so the first level, I had to use some god powers. Let's see if we can beat the second level without doing so. On to the second level, here we go. We are, the level's called We Are Cut Off. There's an army on the right and an army on the left. A lot of ground units. How do I deal with ground units. I don't want to use Reapers again. Let's try and use something different. Let's go with maybe a 
couple of DaVinci tanks. And then how about some ranged units like archers? We'll rock archers to try and get some range damage. The flyers are going to be a bit of an issue. There we go. DaVinci tanks. Hopefully to deal with the ground army. That's a lot of ice arrows. Oh, the ice arrows are also shooting at my archers, which is a little bit shocking. So this side, the cannonballs are doing a pretty good job on the ground tanks. We have Valkyries in the archers. That's right, I want them on the Valkyries on the archers, not on the tanks. On this side, the tanks are doing a phenomenal job on this here ground army. So far, so good. So far, the strategy seems to be working. The tanks are still alive. A lot of melee units on the tanks being shot at by the division tanks. Cannons! Ice archers continuing to shoot. Most of the melee units have been dealt with. We're doing a pretty good job. A random Valkyrie here in the archers getting shot at. He's done. All my tanks are still alive. That's very shocking. I figured one of them would have been dead by now from all this rain. There! On the right! That one's done. He's done on the right. Ice Archer's continuing to shoot, but the Ice Archer arrow damage is not very good. Guys, we didn't need to use God Powers, and here we are declaring victory on this round. On to the next map. On to the next map, we have something called General Valkyrie. Oh. Oh, there's one Valkyrie, a whole bunch of Halibirds. How do I deal with this? Let's get a little bit of range damage. This time, we're going to try some Sword Casters. Yeah, baby. Give me those swords. This is the plan right here. We're just going to shoot them in the face with swords. This should be pretty interesting. Here we go. Swords going in, destroying all the hobbits. Hobbits got wrecked. Now for the mammoths. Can we deal enough damage to the mammoths before they kind of ruin? Oh, ho, ho, one mammoth down, two mammoths down, three down, four down. And now we're on to the halibird units. Can they get close before the mine swords shoot them with swords? Because, you know, that's how I want to do range attacks. <laughs> I want to shoot you with swords. And it seems like we're doing a pretty good job. The mine swords are just peppering. And as you can see, the mammoth shields are starting to sink into the ground, which happens in times. And now the mine swords are shooting at the halibirds, causing nothing but mayhem. Guys, level number two successfully with no god powers. On to the next level, is called the cave. Let's take a look around. Oh! Oh! Okay, hold on. There are units here on the right hand side and then there's a whole bunch of units up here the vikings up here berserkers and then in the cave we have raptor riders anything else further in the cave let me just kind of make my way around even more raptor riders in the cave so that's a very fascinating battle how are we gonna fight this one let's try a new unit let's try something like the pirate queen because she does have those aoe bombs maybe the aoe bombs will do a good enough job but for the time being, I'm kind of scared of all the Berserkers up there. That's kind of why I'm thinking like AoE units. So far, the Pirate Queens have dismantled the Raptor Riders. Completely ruined them. The rest of the Raptor Riders are coming out of their cave. And it's Haekwondo units are on the right-hand side. So far, all my Pirate Queens are still alive. Using their bomb ability, Taekwondo, they're fighting. Oh, I think that's one Pirate Queen down. And now we move on to the Berserkers. This is why I wanted those AoE bombs to help deal with all of these blue Berserkers surrounding the Pirate Queens being bombed. There are still a handful of Pirate Queens still alive. Three Pirate Queens still alive. Guys, the Pirate Queens did it. There's a Berserker. Get that Berserker done. Bombs. Boom. We did it. Pirate Queens. Three levels, guys. No god powers. Let's go. This battle is called Crow Saves Larry from General Bucketbeard by Keller Wet. I like the sounds of that. That sounds good. Crow's most dangerous enemy, Bucketbeard, has taken Larry. Larry is brainwashed and Crow can only use the potion seller bottles in the ancient realm. So Crow must use anything he can. Spawning into the world, it seems like my unit options have been restricted. I can do archers, squires, and knights. I can do shield bearers, cerises, hoplites, ballistas, and Zeus. I can do all the Vikings, and I can do Samurai, Monks, and Ninjas, and that's it. I have 16,000 points. Let's see if we can avoid using God Powers, taking a look at the map to see what's going on. We have Shield Bearers and Cerises here on either side. Behind them, more Hoplites, Cerises, and Shield Bearers. We have uh, Mr. Bucketbeard himself, and then the Brainwashed Larry. 
Mr. Larry? How dare you get brainwashed? What are you, weak? You mentally weak, Mr. Larry? So I'm supposed to not use god powers for this fight, right? But is, can I just make one little, little caveat to that? This doesn't count. This doesn't count at all. Let's start by creating our army. We only have 16,000 points this fight. This makes it very fascinating and very difficult. So I'm thinking I want to put a handful of knights here in the front. And I, oh, I don't, can't do healers. Interesting. My brain was like using healers and stuff. I can't do that. Can I put archers up on this high grounds, maybe to like keep them away from the enemies? Let's get more knights down here. More knights. I have lots of Viking units. This could be very interesting. Do I do berserkers or maybe a handful of Jarls? I want that, that big axe action over there, right? Ice archers over here, ice archers over here. Let's see what happens. Now, before the fight begins, I have a gift for a certain traitor. This is what happens when you betray me, Larry. All right, this is what you get. This is what you deserve. Maxim slow-mo in three, two, one, activate. Good bye, Larry. <laughs> see ya, buddy. Let's pause the game. All right, that was the only thing I got powers I wanted to use. Let's see if we can actually win this fight. Full speed, there we go. In go the knights, ice archers doing their jobs. The knights made short work of those units. They're very powerful. Knights are very strong. Now, we have archers shooting on the knights. The knights break the line of the hot bites. In comes Mr. Bucketbeard himself, Mr. Blackbeard, in on the Jarls. Three Jarls for Bucketbeard. Oh, no. My knights have been very much overpowered by the Sarisas. Not a good time at all. Bucketbeard destroying my Jarls. Archers trying to get some shots in. Trying to get to Bucketbeard. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Blackbeard, oh, I thought Blackbeard was down. I was so excited for a second. Archers are kind of doing work over on this side. Let's take a look. Archers are fighting the other archers, guys. I don't know if this is going to work. I do have a contingent of archers here. An archer back there. A couple more on that battlement. Oh, no. In come the Cerisas. I have a couple more archers left. It wasn't enough to do the job. Guys, we were close, but we have to try again. I think we're thinking too much. You know what I mean? I think, I think we're thinking too much. Let's just clear that out. Um, Berserkers. Some of my favorite units of all time because I like their ability to close the gap. I like their ability to close the distance to truly make a difference with their ability to get in on the enemies and punish them for their mistakes. We're going to do nothing but berserkers and I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to think up a brand new punishment for Mr. Larry. Larry, buddy, um, the power of Zeus compels you. I'm going to make really big lightning bolts. Really big lightning bolts there, Larry. Okay, this is this is for you. Have a good time. Larry getting destroyed in three, two, one. Activate. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> I actually lost. Oh, there he is. There's Larry. Bye, buddy. Where that is. All right, here we go. A bunch of berserkers getting in on these blue units. Actually, they got behind the blue units and have proceeded to swarm them. But the question is, will they be able to do it again, right? Berserkers destroying all these units. There's a bunch of dead berserkers. That does not make me happy. Now the Berserkers are in on the front line, in on Mr. Blackbeard himself. Can they get their axes in there? It's because the quarters are so tight. There's no room for anything, and it doesn't seem like the Berserkers stand a chance against Blackbeard himself. Blackbeard and his contingent on this side made short work of the Berserkers. Over on this side, the Berserkers are fighting against, and we lose once more. We're going to do something a little bit drastic. Ninjas. Nothing but ninjas. I want ranged damage, hopefully dealing with all of these melee units. The shields are trying to block, but the ninjas so far have done a phenomenal job on the front line. Oh, and before I forget, I need to punish my boy, Lair. Lair, Lair. Lair. Traitors are not permitted. Get destroyed. All right, back to the main fight. Let's take a look. Ninjas, I've lost one. Archers are starting to do their work. The shields are preventing the ninjas from doing their job. That's a fantastic job. The shields are blocking all the ninjas' attacks, and the Cerises are getting in with their spears, much like the movie 300, and they're doing their job. Wait a minute. What, wait, what am I thinking? Why didn't I consider they're in these tight hallways, and the tight hallways are giving them a distinct advantage? Can I not set them up back here? As far back as possible, let them come to me. Ninja strategy, still in effect. Ballista, 
Good one, Gorbeck, Larry. Get out of here, Larry. Ain't nobody likes you. Bye. There's still a lot of living ninjas, but there's this human barricade, human wall. And now the archers are coming in and it's ruining everything. That strategy didn't work either. How about ninjas up top? Ninjas on the high ground. It's the shields. Those shield units are so good and so strong. And now the shield units can surround the ninjas. Ah. If I'm having an issue of ninjas killing themselves with their own ninja stars, how about monks? Now the real test. These tight corridors, these tight sections with a whole lot of monks and a whole lot of dudes. And the problem is the ranged units ranging in from a distance. Do the monks have a deflect ability? I think they do. Oh no, Blackbeard has dealt with all the monks on this side. And now we're just left with the monks on this side who are tripping over the corpses of their fallen enemies. And they can't get this people. Their blue units buried under this pile the monks are trying to get to. And the Cerises are like, okay, hey, thanks. I like how you get to the point where you just don't care. And you're like, you know what? Halloween for everybody. Everybody gets pumpkins. Everybody gets pumpkins in three, two, one. Maxim slow mo. Activate pumpkins spread. Look at that. Pumpkins are overwhelmingly taking up this entire place. <laughs> it's so cool. I love how that looks. Full speed. Here we go. Goodbye, pumpkins. Who's left alive? I think I'm a little bit shocked that there's even units still left alive right now. Okay. We've uh, we've dealt a crippling blow to this army, I think. Knights are doing their job. Valkyrie's doing their job. Larry! No, 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 Larry. You get to die. You, you don't get to fight. You're not allowed. It's against the rules. Blackbeard himself is left. I gotta say that bouncing pumpkin's actually a bit annoying. Can I shoot it? I can! Goodbye, pumpkin! <laughs> Where are these guys going? Hey, we did it! We had to cheat, but we did it.